What is up, Scorpio? Welcome to your September love reading. Hope you guys are doing well. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Scorpio. What just fell out? Ooh, the Emperor in reverse. Some of you are dealing with an Aries. We'll keep that out. All right, so keep in mind, this is general. If it doesn't resonate, check out your moon or your rising sign. Single, coupled, on a break, just how you know, however this fits into your life, Scorpio. This is the most prominent energy for September love. I am gonna do a singles reading here very soon. So we'll do that and see what's going on. But again, this is general energy for Scorpio in love. Let's do it. Let's see what's up with Scorpio, my fellow Scorpios. All right, let's look at your past. What do we have? The Ten of Wands in reverse. What's going on right now? What's the current energy, Scorpio? The Seven of Wands. Maybe dealing with a Leo. What's on your person's mind that you're thinking about or connecting with? The Four of Wands. All right. How does this person view you? What do they think of you? The strength card in reverse, Leo energy, major arcana. How do they feel? What's going on in their emotions? The hanged man, major for Pisces. How do they wanna move forward with you, Scorpio? The nine of swords, they're all in their head. We're gonna find out why. What's coming in that you don't see? So in the hidden factors, you've got a page of swords, somebody watching you. What's your advice from spirit? It's the queen of cups. There you are, male or female, use that intuition. What's the outcome in love, Scorpio? You've got judgment. There you are, major arcana for Scorpio. All right, somebody's taking a hard look in the mirror here. Judgment, of course, can be resurrecting the past, for sure, you know, but it can also, you know, a second chance, but can also be somebody's healing the past and then making that final judgment call to do something big. All right, you guys, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. If this one hits home for you, the link to the extended reading is below where we dive a little bit deeper, find out a little bit more, do a little more stalking on your person, see what's really on their mind, how they feel, what's going on in their everyday life, which will tell you more about why they're acting the way they're acting, and look at the outcome. All right, I'm gonna use the Light Sears deck to clarify your reading. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If y'all need a private reading, I've linked all of that info below where you can go book your reading as well. In the comments section, playing a little game this time. It's called Brunette, Redhead, Blonde, Which Do You Prefer? Because while well, I'm nosy and I read my comments and I like to find out stuff about you guys. All right, let's clarify <laughs> this bad bitch of a reading. Let's see what's up. All right, in the past, we have a 10 of wands situation. Something was just too heavy, too many burdens. We decided to lay down that cycle, relieve the pressure. What's this 10 of wands in reverse? The queen of wands, more Aries. Some of you have Aries in your chart. <clears throat> also too, I, I get the sense that somebody wanted to um, kind of get something off their chest. I don't know why I'm feeling that. There's still an attraction with that queen of wands. Somebody, you know, if you're on a break or you're already with this person, there was this kind of release of energy. What's this queen of wands about though? That fire and the page of pentacles. Yeah, some sort of olive branch extended here. Could have even been a friendship where there's still, there's an attraction here. Maybe somebody wanted more. They had to open up here about something. Somebody may have revealed to you that they're attracted to you some sort of communication, but that, that Page of Pentacles Capricorn energy can be a little bit slow, a little bit dry. What's going on right now, Scorpio? The current energy is the Seven of Wands. What's the Seven of Wands about? And the Wheel of Fortune, Fate, Destiny, Major Arcana. So some big, big changes coming in. Um, expect a, a change of events here that you may, you don't even see coming probably. Um, the wheel of fortune is the, is the wheel turning in your favor, right? Seven of wands though, somebody's still guarded or defensive, but I'm getting a very, like, I'm going to fight for something here with the seven of wands. I'm going to stand my ground and stand up and reveal. Yeah. The lover, somebody feels like you're their person or you feel this about someone or you will Gemini energy there. It's, this is a soulmate, a choice or a decision here is the lovers, but I also just feel like it's a very soulful connection. And the lovers says, you know what? Like I'm making a choice or a decision. This is part of my path, fighting for something. On this person's mind is the four of wands with the three of pentacles in reverse. 
Why the Four of Wands? Why is this on this person's mind with the Three of Pentacles in reverse? The Five of Wands. Um, this person wants some sort of stability with you, a celebration, maybe a new beginning, maybe a relationship. Four of Wands is also another kind of soulmate, twin flame, either or type connection, but it's coming together. This person wants to be with you, but I'm getting, Scorpio, they think that you've given up on this due to drama, disputes, conflict, inner conflict. Maybe they were hot and cold with you in the past or something like that. They're kind of not very hopeful, but they're really, really in their head about it. Because what do they think of you? The strength card in reverse, Leo energy and justice. Some of you are connecting with a Libra, major arcana. Doing the right thing. They view you in that energy of, you know what? I got a lot going on. I don't really have the strength to deal with this. So maybe I put it on the back burner for now. There's obstacles we can't overcome. Something here, strife, conflict of some sort. But with justice here, they view you as being a very fair person, like very straight to the point. What's the justice card? High priestess in reverse. They know that you want to reveal something. Maybe you already have opened up here. Also, this person views you as being very busy, probably helping other people in some aspect. Pisces energy. Why do they view Scorpio as the high priestess in reverse? What do they want with us? The empress. Look at that. Libra energy. Some of you are single parents. But the empress energy is abundant. She's growth. She's nurturing herself. At some point, you may have revealed this to your person. Listen, I got a lot going on. Yeah, I feel the connection, but I got so much going on. I, I can't deal with this. Like, tell me how you feel or not, right? With the Empress, you're, you're nurturing. You're expanding. You're growing. They're also very attracted to you physically, but also like your inner beauty. Again, whether you're male or female. Now, in their emotions, though, they're feeling the hanged man. Pisces, Major Arcana. What's the hanged man in this person's emotion? The six of wands. I think they're starting to see something in a new perspective. Guys could be a little bit stuck, could be at a stalemate right now, but emotionally, that hanged man energy is seeing the light. It's, you know, he's hanging upside down and he sees the world through a whole new vision. He's kind of waiting around, but this person feels they want some sort of successful relationship with you, some sort of victory. Leo, again, six of wands, and the star, yeah. Another soulmate energy. You've got Aquarius, major arcana. They're hopeful that something successful can be gained from this while you guys are kind of just waiting. I, I get the sense you're not really with this person, or if you are, it's very kind of hot and cold in and out. And they're really in their head about it because they know that with this, there's going to come some anxiety or some worry. What's this nine of swords? Judgment. Yeah, see, they want a second chance. And there's your energy, uh, Scorpio. This person's going through a huge shift in energy, almost like an awakening. And it's really got them kind of frantic in their head about it. I think this person has had a realization that, like, you're their person. But again, everybody's dealing with something different. You know, maybe somebody's married. Maybe there's distance here. But I think this person has certainly been very on and off, very hot and cold. And now they're just like, oh, my God. Where's Scorpio? And you're kind of just like, uh, I'm over here doing my own thing. Why do they feel the Nine of Swords or judgment moving forward? Temperance. Sign of Sagittarius. Being patient. Divine timing. Wanting to cooperate with you. And they're worried because they feel your energy is kind of like, eh, whatever. I can take it or leave it. If this is a newer connection, I mean, it's the same thing. This is the same message. You're over here in your Empress energy doing your own thing. Because again, if it's a past person, I think it was just too much. You had too much going on. And now they're like, oh my God, Scorpio's pulling away. And I'm realizing that my behavior or my lack of taking action in the past has really hindered this connection. And if it is a newer connection, again, you're going to be the one that's kind of doing your own thing, busy, that kind of thing. You've got a lot going on and they really admire that. And they're all in their head. Why is this person the Nine of Swords moving forward? Yeah, restless. Four Swords in reverse. Definite comeback around from somebody you've already dealt with. we got Judgment, Four Swords, more Libra energy. If it's a newer connection, they're just restless. They're thinking about you. They're up late at night thinking about you. Either way, I don't care who it is. And it's because there's this like push-pull energy. What's coming that you don't see, Scorpio, is the Page of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. 
Why is the Page of Swords in the Hidden Factors? Woo, more Libra, Three of Swords. There's a separation or disappointment here that's coming, or it's already happened, but this is in the Hidden Factors. So they tend to watch you, probably on social media, or they're just inquisitive. They wanna know what you're up to, because again, you're, you're kind of doing your thing, and there's, it, it's like a shift. You probably were really into this person at one point, and then you pulled your energy back, and now they're like, what the hell? You know, Page of Swords with the Three of Swords. Page of Wands in reverse. I think you pull back on the communication with this person. I don't think it's them. They probably won't communicate with you a whole lot, but they're watching. They're very interested. Don't let them fool you. Why though? Why is the pay? And also this person's afraid of bad news. They're afraid of you. They're afraid that you're not going to respond here to them. And now this shift in their energy. It's like they see the light now and it's like, what took you so long? You know, you're over here doing your thing. And Spirit's telling you, Scorpio, Queen of Cups, like use that intuition. What's this Queen of Cups? Do your thing. King of Wands in reverse. Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Dealing with somebody again who is very kind of flighty, not in and out. And they're saying you're going to get this kind of surge of energy from this person. Even if they're not communicating a, a whole lot, you can feel it because you're intuitive. And Spirit's saying use that intuition here with the Queen of Cups. Also, the Queen of Cups... You know, her cup's closed a lot of times, even when she's in the upright. So they're saying just be mindful of that. Why is the king of wands in reverse? Leo in this deck. There it comes back around. Six of swords in reverse. I, You know what I feel too? Because a lot of times, Scorpio, the king of wands in reverse is not competent. He's not. And this person isn't confident. I don't care who they are. Might be a Leo, might be a Sag. Doesn't have to be. I'm getting a lot of Libra energy too. But because they're all worried and they're in their head, they're having anxiety about this, about this comeback around. They want it, but it's a lot of restless energy. And I don't think that it's worked in the past, obviously, but here they come and they're not confident. What's the Six of Swords in reverse? The Two of Pentacles, wishy-washy, right? The lack of confidence is gonna lead them to be kind of up and down. And I think this is your energy too. Spirit says, get ready to have this kind of back and forth decision making time. There's the communication, eight of wands. There's progress and change for this person, but we have to just look at how long is it gonna last. Judgment is your outcome, Scorpio, that's your card. Why is judgment here in the outcome for Scorpio, September 2021? Why is judgment here in the outcome for love? Nine of cups, yeah. You're not done with this person by any means. I, I kind of get this energy from Scorpio. It's, it is what it is. There is a connection. I, I love it when this person reaches out. It feels good. There's been some pain in the past with this person, and it's really knocked their confidence down. They probably ghosted, or maybe they just weren't giving you the energy, but now they want it. You guys have a chance here if you want it. You know, free will at play. Some of you will want it, some won't, but there's an energy here of somebody kind of having an awakening. And there's, you know, being emotionally satisfied and really giddy that this comes back around. Why is the Nine of Cups here? And the Moon in reverse. Somebody's going to open up. You've got uh, Pisces energy. Something's revealed. They're no longer closed off. I think this person hid, hid their feelings from you a lot. But whatever they're opening up about makes you really happy. Now, you know, is this going to lead to happily ever after through September? Maybe not. But there is a huge shift in energy. Somebody that you were dealing with that was super hot and cold. And I feel like your reading maybe last month was dealing with somebody that just wouldn't take action. And now they're having a like that kind of shift in energy where they're going to start. You're going to see more movement from this person. So you'll decide what you want to do with that. All right. In the extended reading, we'll see what they're going to reveal here with the moon in reverse. We'll see what's going on in their everyday life and what you can expect from them. It's the how do they feel about you spread. So I will see you there. Love you hard. Love me hard back. And we'll speak soon. Take care.